solo travel is popular, at least here, on YouTube. Don't you think that the frequency of solo travel research and numerous videos tell us something? Definitely yes, but it's up to you to assume why and what. There are probably many whys and whats. At first, solo traveling may sound scary and pretty daring. It may seem like an impossible mission to launch. However, an incomparably big mistake, would be staying where you are, just because no one can't join you. So what? It's not a big deal. That shouldn't be a pretext for choosing a daily routine over a unique lifelong experience of traveling alone. And, you will see that your fears of solo travel, though realistic, are not quite justified. As soon as you start exploring the world unaccompanied, you will start experiencing all the perks of solo travel. To get the best out of your solo travel adventure, there are needs of tuning up some aspects of your personality to this new event. There is a need, or even better, a must, to be well organized. You can imagine that feeling of discomfort or even fear when you want to get to someplace, and you don't have the address written down, so that a local taxi driver can take you there. This is what it means to be organized, to think of certain situations in advance, and prepare yourself accordingly. So, have the address written on a piece of paper, preferably in a local language. Do some research before starting a trip. Plan your itinerary, where you will be each day, even what you will eat. Being informed about transportation links on the local and regional levels is necessary. Try to find out more about the local currency, events, common rules, beliefs, and practices of locals. Behave accordingly in order to enjoy the atmosphere of a new destination thoroughly. The need to be organized is complemented with the need to be capable of quitting on time. Quitting anything, quitting the solo travel and joining the tour, quitting hanging out, and going to bed to recuperate your strength for the following day. Strengthen your ability to call it quits when it is about your money, as you never know which day can become a rainy day. This need for The quit on time ability has to do with the need to be on guard. Traveling relaxes, but whether you travel in a company or on your own, caution is necessary. That means to be ready for anything that could jeopardize your tranquility and enjoyment. You may expect wonderful experiences on your solo trip, but you need to be ready to face and deal with unwanted but realistic situations. Therefore, all of your senses should be occupied with the present moment and with everything that happens around. So, no earphones in the streets, for example. There is no place for showing off, either your possessions or your money. Even if you are left with little money, staying focused is the only true option. But, of course, you need to be on guard with a measure. Especially as your main aim is broadening your mind and letting it experience novelties. The initiative of embarking on a trip on your own, marks your readiness to leave your comfort zone by spreading it. And you can spread it through new experiences, new cultures and lifestyles. So, try this, try that, talk with this person, talk with that person. Spice up your life with your readiness to open yourself to the new world, and make new friends with locals and other travelers. In this sense, rely on your instincts. Trust your guts. There will always be some occurrences that demand on the spot decisions. Normally, you can't predict and plan every single step on your solo trip, as well as in life. To stay or to leave, to do this, or to do that, to go with them, or to proceed alone, to stop by in this place, or to pass by it. These and similar dilemmas leave you on your own. These are moments when you learn to trust your instincts. And your decisions. This has to do with your level of confidence. Namely, you need to be confident to say no. To be confident in a way that you are comfortable by yourself, to be confident about your decisions. Being confident transforms you in a great solo traveler who can lead, and not only be led. All of the previous points direct to one more need which pervades this video, and the whole concept of solo travel or a solo trip. It is your complete readiness for a life-changing experience. Once you plunge in the world of solo traveling, you will notice new perspectives of your personality which can be more developed. Fear will disappear, for progress to reappear. Just to highlight, any time you plunge in the world alone, it can be nothing but a life-changing move. To transform the theory and practice, visit solo traveler blogs or watch videos of those who have already replaced ordinary fears for the extraordinary solo travel sphere. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like and comment. Stay awesome.